yo, yo, it's your boy Route Combo, a.k.a. The Professor on the Sticks, and today I'm going to talk about, this in this vlog, is the Alabama Crimson Tide quarterback competition. It's still unsettled. They just got through with their first scrimmage of the fall camp. They have one more before uh, it starts really ramping up, and then they go against Wisconsin. So there's a five-man race right now, and as Coach Saban said, every quarterback got an equal opportunity today. And... He said after the scrimmage that it's going to be narrowed down to the top two or three after the top three really after they watch the film. And the reports coming into the, the scrimmage were that Blake Barnett, the true freshman from California, five star, won the Elite 11 with Trent Dilfer. It was doing amazing in practice. And he had his opportunity today to take the bull by the horns, as Coach Saban says. However, he did not do that. And neither did Jacob Coker. Jacob Coker is the Florida State transfer from Mobile, Alabama. Senior, his time to shine. Everybody thought that he was going to beat out Blake Sims last year. And he had him beat out until probably the second scrimmage. So there's still a lot of time left. But it's very concerning that uh, Jake Coker has not taken the bull by the horns and said, I'm the leader and win the team over. And that that's something that has even led into the season before, back in in 2011 with A.J. McCarron and Philip Sims. You know, Philip Sims was a high, high recruit out of Virginia, and uh, it went into the season. They played Penn State. They were going quarter for quarter, and then the Penn State game is whenever A.J. McCarron won over that job. Didn't have great quarterback play. He got better as the year went on, but 2012 was probably his best year. So... What, what what's going on with the Alabama quarterback situation? Do we a lot of people say if you have two quarterbacks that means you have none? I don't buy that. And the candidates are between Blake Barnett, true freshman, who I personally I don't know I have uh, I I really want him to win the job, but I don't think Coach Saban will put it in his hands, especially after throwing I believe three picks in the scrimmage today. But between him, Jake Coker, who's the favorite. David Cornwell from Oklahoma, who blew out his, his ACL right when he got on campus, and that was like a year and a half ago. Alec Morris, who's a game manager, kind of like the Greg McElroy type of quarterback. We don't really know too much about him. He can't really make all the throws. He can't really stretch the field vertically, but he makes really good decisions can, can, and can get the ball out quick. And then uh, Cooper Bateman, who's also in the spring, uh, was playing some receivers. So <clears throat> but he was a pretty big time uh, recruit out of out of Utah as well. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if we've been evaluating wrong, but Jake Coker needs to take the bull by the horns. And the reason why I want him to win, if it's not going to be Blake Barnett, for a couple reasons. I do think Coker has a phenomenal potential. Will he make uh, some bad throws here and there? Yes, but I think we have the type of team that can withstand those mistakes. But then you might say, well, why don't you just throw the true freshman out there, Blake Barnett? And, you know, that's that's a good point. The reason why I don't want David Cornwell to start is because if he if he starts and plays the whole year, let's say he has a pretty good year, not an amazing year, it's going to be very tough for Blake Barnett to, to win that job. I don't think Nick Saban is just going to, you know, even if he outplays uh, David a little bit in the spring, in the scrimmages and stuff like that, I don't necessarily think that's going to be a good situation for Blake. And Blake is, without a doubt, the quarterback guru himself, uh, just, oh man, I can't slip in the top of my tongue, George Whitfield, just just announced that he was, David, um, Blake Barnett was, is the uh, best quarterback that he's ever seen at the age of 18 years old. So I really want Blake to win. Not really too sure. It's still It's still early, but... I think the big takeaway from what Coach Saban said was nobody's taking the bull by the horns, and I think that's very alarming for Jake Coker and say, yo, bro, you got to you gotta take it. And two, what are the three quarterbacks that is going to be the focus for the second scrimmage and moving into the fall camp? One, Jacob Coker. There's two shoe-ins, and there's one wild card. Jacob Coker and David Cornwell are the two shoe-ins, in my opinion, and then the third spot is up for grabs. Is it... Blake Barnett, is it Alec Morris, who I think that's who it's going to be possibly be. And then Cooper Bateman, I just think he's um, he's kind of out of the equation. So who's going to have that third quarterback reps? Alec Morris, 
or Blake Barnett. If it is Alec Morris, Blake Barnett's on the back burner. He's going to redshirt this year without a doubt. So I think it's interesting, a lot of, a lot of intrigue, what's going to happen. Let me know in the comment section below, who do you think should start for the Alabama Christmas Tide this year? Who should win the, win the job, and who's going to win over the team like Blake Sims did last year and had a very productive year? Granted, he had a terrible, terrible game against Ohio State, but you know he set all the school records and was really a, a, a team-first guy his whole career, played anywhere from wide receiver, running back, to quarterback. Who's going to win the job? Jacob Coker, you're the player to watch, and you're the one that needs to step up. This is your last opportunity to play D1 football. You're a senior. Take advantage of it. And then let's bring in Blake Barnett. If not, I'd rather see the young guy because with our defense and our offensive line, we have all the tools necessary to be able to take the lumps with that quarterback, especially if if Coker is going to have the same type of inaccuracies. And nobody knows. Nobody's seen David Cornwell really play at all, and he didn't really play his last year as senior in high school. So I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I want Blake Barnett to start, and I'm really gunning for him, but – it's not looking too good for that to happen after that first scrimmage. Hopefully he can recover and, and get, get a good opportunity in the second scrimmage to recover. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the sticks.